Hello everyone. Uh, we are back after this bug situation. Um, essentially what I did is drove to Whole Foods, got lunch, because I had a gift card left to use I've been meaning to use for two years. And, um, oh no, is it disabling? I wish I recorded it get into this point, uh, get into Whole Foods because go, um, getting on the highway was abs uh, on the highway was absolutely terrible and honestly it feels like it's going to be making some weird mistakes as well. So that's why I'm recording here in case it just... In case it makes mistakes. Um, yeah, this version, um, between all the testers, I don't know what happened, how they missed this. There's a lot of issues on this version. And hopefully they have a quick patch. This is one of the ones that desperately need a patch this week. They um, very much need a patch. Uh, and they should stop wide rollout. Uh, until they get a patch. This is what happens with software updates, especially when you're in beta. Also... I don't know where my car is going. Uh, something just isn't right with this update. What I, what I had to do... The reason I went to Whole Foods is because everyone's saying you had to let your car sit for 30 minutes. So, unfortunately, I have Onyx in the back. So, I put it in dog mode, went in, got some food, came back out here and ate it. And so, I was in there probably 15 minutes walking around. Um, and that was enough to get it to let me re enable full self driving. Now, I'm afraid that it's not gonna. I'm afraid it's going to have issues again so what I'm gonna do is unfortunately I can't have the 360 camera up that's that's I'm too afraid to put it in the park so I lose it again so we're gonna do our blind corner test you just won't have the 360 camera view uh, of it and so we're gonna get to Carolina Lane do a 360 test and do our rest of our test and just just go from there I, I don't want to risk putting it in park to lose the lose access again I guess it's a bug that something to do it may it's all bunch of speculation whether or not it has to do with century mode being on maybe it has to do with the, uh, just the bug with automat automatic emergency braking uh, it just something really is off with this version which is why again you always have to remain vigilant this is not a self-driving car yet and you always have to be aware of uh, what's happening Okay, we should wait for this. Uh, okay, that guy's gonna be go. Um, give him a wave. That, yeah, this this is probably another reason. I think what's happening maybe is that it thinks we're not paying attention when we are. Like I was looking for it, as well as my hand was on the wheel, and that's happened multiple times per day, multiple times, and so I. There's something with the something mix of a few different things. I have no idea how this wasn't caught in internal QA. My opinion is I was a um, closed group beta tester. Uh, sorry, I need to make sure that car. There's a car that was coming up on me, behind me, and then it let me in. And so I had to kind of force the car to get over. But my opinion is it should go from internal QA to the same group of early beta testers. And then we should be able to, you know, do the, the stress test, like these, deal with these type of problems. And then, assuming like two days after, everything's good, either patch it, if, well, if, if everything's good, Go ahead, 
and sorry, I thought I missed the exit. Go ahead and uh, release it to everyone else. You know, we have a small group. Make sure everything's good, no no major issues, and then go ahead and uh, release it. Obviously, they I don't know they there are not, there's not just one issue. There are multiple in this update that they somehow missed, and it's definitely causing some real weird issues. That's how I would like to have done it. Then it wouldn't have got wide release because that's the thing with these issues. That drastically increases the odds that there is an accident or something. And just the more people that have it, statistically, just the higher chance there are you know, of there being an issue. And in this case, I don't think it should have gone wide, wide release. And then when the dev team realized, hey, there's a major issue, then it would only be on the cl closed group, <laughs> closed group, <laughs> cl closed group beta testers. Yeah. Try to make sure I haven't actually gone this way before. Nashville, what it needs to go is actually here. And then we're gonna end this section of this video, and kind of this will just detail the bug situation, how to fix it, uh, that type of stuff. Uh, and. I think I'll might release this video first. Um, that was an oddly good lane change. I don't. Yeah, that worked actually very well. Why is it turning? Okay, I still had the blink. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was a weird, weird situation there. But um. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can turn on to Carolina Lane and see how well it does doing that. That oh that car just decided to <laughs> to even though they didn't have the right of way, it decided to go. Now turn right Carolina. Okay, it was like trying to go around this car right here. <laughs> it, it, yeah, that was weird. Okay. Okay, everyone. Um, unfortunately, the rest of these videos are not going to have the wide angle lens just because it's, I, I don't want to spend the rest of the day waiting around Asheville. Um, so, because if I put it in the park, there's a good chance it, it could. Uh, messed up again. So we're not going to do that. Basically going to stop the video and start from here.